In 2013, Zach released the film Paddle to the Ocean. It documents the use of recreation therapy as treatment for PTSD. Please welcome Zach Gross. So we've had a lot of different roles, recreation therapist, dabbling in real estate, income properties, education. Uh, but the role that's taught me the most about embracing failures is music. And for about a decade, I toured the country, driving back and forth in an indie rock band with my buddies. I know what you're thinking, oh, independent rock band in Canada. Well, that must be luxurious. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. Four years, sometimes five, depending on our budget, in a van for six to seven weeks. I don't know if you've ever tried to pick up when you live in a van. <laughs> no, you should come back to my place. It's great. It, it, it is a little cramped. And I have some roommates. It's a van. But music taught me a lot. When you play a song and people don't dance, that's a very quick feedback loop. When they start looking at their phone in the middle of your ballad, but this lifestyle, it's fun, it's very engaging, you're making thousands of dollars one night and you're losing it all the next day because the man's transmission flew in Sussex, just to be specific. It's unsustainable though and it's unhealthy. I don't recommend it. It's a tremendous amount of fun, but you can't keep it going forever. You've got to take breaks. It's just this kind of long stretches of boredom sketchy living conditions. <laughs> Can you find the whiskey in this photo? It's always there. <laughs> this is our keyboard player on the first day of our very first national tour. He's so excited. He's so happy. This is the same guy one year later. <laughs> and one year after that. But well, we were all making fashion choices at that point in our lives. I'm not really one to judge. That mustache worked. It totally did. 